We conceived of a week-long workshop beginning with a deep dive into the Vignelli's ethos, their philosophy, their experience, their history, and the history of the Vignelli Center for Design Studies at RIT. That consisted of watching the film Design is One, studying the Vignelli canon, and deeply looking at the artifacts that the Vignellis left for us here in the Vignelli archives. The Vignellis left us their life's work, and they did so very consciously to empower others to learn from their successes as well as their failures. The artifacts of process are honest and clear, and there's truly nothing like having hands-on experience seeing those successes and failures, seeing the notes scribbled in the lines of project presentations, seeing the prototypes that never made it to production or the public eye, seeing the notations on the sides of the prototypes that tell us that those were moments where Lela and Massimo had to pivot, had to adapt their ideas to the needs of their clients or of the public. This is magical information. This is, is such a beautiful opportunity to decode the complexities of the design process. And that is what we're here to share and that we're fortunate to be able to share with our workshop participants, students, researchers, those that come to seek out the wisdom that the Vignellis left for us to use. We selected the topic of the vase for this inaugural summer design workshop because the vase is a unique object typology. As we all know, Vases can hold flowers, but vases can hold other things. And sometimes vases are, in and of themselves, objects that tell their own stories, regardless of the contents they contain. So for this reason, we selected the vase as a topic because of its openness and its known constraints, aligning with the notion of creating a good project brief, having both boundaries and opportunities. So we envisioned this summer workshop as a synergy between technology, the arts, and design, which is a core mission of Rochester Institute of Technology. So to put 3D printing as a rapid visualization tool into the mix of this year's workshop enabled designers to take a step between their conceptual ideation and the work that they would do with the master glass blowers at Corning. It also empowered the master glass blowers to help the participants to realize their ideas further than they would have without the 3D prints. We are fortunate to have essentially in our backyard the Corning Museum of Glass and Corning Incorporated. Together Corning represents a global beacon for design. The medium is cataloged and archived in a way that no one else in the world has been able to mirror. The Rakow Research Library has a larger collection of glass-oriented research material than any other in the world. The museum retains artifacts that elucidate the entire history of glass on the planet. It is a marvelous place to both study, decode, and explore glass as a medium. In the case of the glass project that we endeavored to take on this year, there were many 
challenges that designers were faced with. And as expected, their ability to pivot and to embrace those challenges, to celebrate the pieces of the puzzle that came together uh, for them with the aspects of the material and the process that enabled them to have their ideas grow was what made the workshop so special. Big ideas often come in small packages. Design as a discipline treats all things as equal. And I think we see that in this year's topic. The lessons learned, the ideas focused, the materials deployed towards a better world view are all inherent in these vases. I can honestly say that this year's summer design workshop expanded and exceeded all of my expectations in developing it conceptually. The participants made the workshop a spectacular success. Their output was universally excellent and the relationships that were forged will last a lifetime.